Hi people, so it's Monday morning again. If you didn't watch my Monday research video, um, I'll leave a card up here that you can click on. My plan for today really, I'm not doing much. Well, I'm doing much. So yeah, the girls have left for school, or well, they left a while ago. And before they left, I smacked Ella because this girl took our gift key and put it in her school bag to take to school. So on this my board here, I have like this key, these things for key. So you guys can see for instance. So I just have her gift key here. See, I just hang it here. And she was guarding her bag like there was something inside. I don't know what made Grace check. Grace checked and then found it in her bag. Today we are cooking. Um, I'm cooking soup today, so that's why I said I'm doing quite a lot. Ooh. These are all of the veggies that we are cooking today. So this is a four. All these are a four. This is Oha. I'm making Oha soup as well. Okay, so this is Uza. Yeah. For dear life, sir. <laughs> hi, Asa. Say hi to the people. That's my Asa baby. this morning so after getting this hair done i was like oh i'm just operating in faith because i haven't gotten my south african visa so they delivered my passport ups delivered my passport two days ago i think or yesterday yesterday and i didn't bother opening the passport i just flicked through the first few pages and i didn't see anything different so i was talking to her days i was telling her days like oh my, it's by faith because we'll be traveling a couple of days about three days right today is the ninth we live in a couple of days on saturday and i'm like how is it three days to leave and we haven't even gotten our visa and this is like oh you haven't gotten your visa did you check inside your passport i was like okay okay let me check so i got up got my passport out and there the visa was just sitting on there because initially i was like hmm people should not allow my hair to waste because i really made my hair specifically for this trip because i don't like to wear wigs um when i travel yeah just prefer to just pack my braids and you know be out and then i checked my passport and my visa was there so yeah <laughs> anyway tomorrow is my mom's birthday we need to go there after school i would most likely pack my stuff on friday i have a couple of things in my wardrobe that i might just wear i think i don't even know what i'm going to wear for the graduation but we'll see how it goes so i have between thursday and friday to wrap my meals um my mom's birthday to pack I also need to edit a couple of videos. I need to edit a video for a brand that should go up while I'm in South Africa. I need to edit a real. <laughs> oh my god. How does this hair look? It's similar to something I've made before. I've made something very similar to this before, but yeah, that's what it's looking like. Hi, people. I've had such a morning. I'm about to have my first meal of the day. So it's not breakfast. I was. I'm actually using my mic because there's a massive generator on. And if I didn't use this mic, people would have been able to hear me. So this morning, I was awakened rudely and it was just like, from then on, it was just a domino of like bad luck. And everything, like this, the whole chaos of this morning happened just because my husband has refused to listen to me. When I say, don't touch anything around my work table, don't go near my work table, even the window behind my work table, don't open it, don't close it, just, just leave it the way you see it because... I don't like anybody opening the window behind my work table. You guys know I work here, so my laptop is here. So sometimes, 
someone can open the window and forget to close it and it can rain and i may not be home and then rain will fall on my laptop and then i have to look for hundreds of thousand naira to fix laptop or to buy a new laptop so i've just told everybody nobody should touch my window if i open it let's say it remain like that if i close it let it remain like that so this morning my husband got up around like six when it was almost time for the girls to get up and he tried to open the curtain and the curtain fell the curtain fell and then my mirror fell thank god the mirror did not break it just removed from both ends which i've fixed i got up i was already so pissed I was like okay no problem it didn't break thank god so I got up, fixed the mirror, and then I was like, okay, let me just climb and fix this cut, you know. I stepped on my chair, you guys, and then I just put my hand on this shelf like this. So although this shelf has been giving me signs, it's been sloping, and I even, you know, sent the message to people that made my work table, and I wanted to make a new set of shelves, but the price was a bit too steep for me. I didn't want to spend that kind of money at the time. So I just put my hand like this, so you people. Now, so this chef just bent and everything just fell. You can see my table. I have all of my makeup, so everything is down here. Everything fell on me. I fell. I fell on my chair, and somehow my chair has bent. And I called my warder, like, made everything happen. I was like, you know what? I'm not just, I'm not going to go back to sleep. There's no point. It's already like past six. I decided to watch the latest episode of Handmaid's Tale, which was so good. Oh my God. I think it's like episode 10 or 11. So I was watching and I was picking up my stuff because I had my makeup brushes scattered all over the floor. Every single thing fell from my shelf. So I had to just put everything back and I was just doing that and I was just watching TV. So that wasn't bad. Um, so I called the world that this morning. The world is the one that always checks this chair out for me. I haven't found the perfect work chair. Um, and I know that to find the perfect work chair, I'm going to have to spend a lot of money because this one was already pricey. Chairs are pricey. So I remember when someone was asking me where I got my chair, I was like, it's, it doesn't look bad, but it's not the perfect work chair for me. I haven't found the perfect work chair. I know where to get the perfect work chair, but I'm not, I don't have that kind of money to spend. Anyway, I called my welder. He looked at the chair. He hit, hit, bang, bang. It's better than it was, but it's still bent. So now that I'm sitting, I'm kind of lopsided. So the left side is bent, and then the, my right side is straight. So it just feels a bit weird, but I'll just manage it because the world I say doesn't know what he's doing. He was like, ah, maybe I say go manage it like that, so madam. So I just got tired. So I called, so called my carpenter, paid for a shelf so he'll come and fix it today today is also my mom's birthday uh, when the girls get back from school we we'll, would we'll leave i wish it was friday so we could just maybe spend the night or come back very late but the school tomorrow so we have to wait for grace to come back from school by four and then maybe by like 4 30 to 5 we'll leave the house i'm having amala with bomo and turkey yum 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 somebody might think to themselves now but you said this book of food you get as it be i haven't had amala in I think it's been a month, if I'm very sure. I haven't had Amala in a month or so. I'm trying to take a picture for my Insta story. Someone sent me a message today saying that she bought me something. I don't know what it is. I'll just sit down and people will just, I don't know, think about me. I just do very thoughtful things for me. I don't know how this happens or why it happens, but I'm thankful. I, I really appreciate it. I don't know what it is, but it's from a, like a cookware, homeware, kitchen page. So I don't know what it is. She even said, don't expose me on YouTube. So yeah, that made me happy this morning. Says, Let me just eat my food and then we talk. Let me know in the comments if you like Amala. If you eat Amala, if you like Amala, if you've not eaten Amala before, let me know in the comments. Hmm? This will be first time. I was there planting. And it's planting, though. I'll be asking you. Was there Mama, they blow, eh? Yeah, yes, yes, See this picture. Touch his baby picture now. Yes. Just baby. like as a photocopy. Mama, I bought me now. Uh-uh. Just one baby picture. Just like I When I see my baby picture, I look like my children. But now I don't see the resemblance. Come join her now. Can we go kick him? Join. Don't just sit on the chair. Just stay like here. Yeah. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Cheesy. Clap, 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 cl
But anyone with you guys, as long as, uh -uh. as, long as, as, long as it's good. Chichi, how can you be dancing yes, and he'll be spraying you? That means Mumu, I'm busy holding yes, camera for you. I'll be able to do this. Can you dance, Grace? Yes. Yeah. No, me. Me too, girl. Me too, girl. This one is a sweet angel. Sweet angel. Oh, this is too key. Is that the two key? Yes. Yeah. 400. No, no, no. 1,000. She does not want. Great, Vicky, collect your money. Let's snap. Let's take a picture. <laughs>my brother now hit us with this surprising news so he's jack buying he's traveling he's going to germany to do his masters um even though i knew he had like i knew things were in the works so i kind of knew but i didn't know it was time and you know he has to travel very quickly because he just got his visa but then he has to you know be on a flight tomorrow so that's really emotional i'm very happy for him you know it's progress it's um success it's a good direction in life and I'm really happy for him, but I'm going to miss him so, so much. So yeah, it's quite emotional. I want to quickly just go and unbox my Ninja blender with you guys and then we'll end the vlog. And then I'm going to start up with my travel vlog tomorrow because I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. I'm just going to wrap them. So yeah, um, we'll just unbox that Ninja blender because I don't want to unbox it tomorrow. My nail appointment is for 9 a.m. So I most likely will not have the time to even do it. And then I have to come back home and just wrap up in a few things. So let's just unbox it and then we will close this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Telling you guys because I won't say that after unboxing. Um, I love you. See you in the South Africa travel vlog. <laughs>